The Kama Sutra 3D controversy involving the protagonist Sherlin Chopra and the director Rupesh Paul still continues. We provide you an insight of the two stamped FIRs that have been submitted by Sherlin Chopra to the additional commission of police and at the Santa Cruz police station, Mumbai. Sherlin Chopra's lawyer, Mr. Mahesh Vaswani, criminal advocate, and his associate, Ms. Dharini Nagda, are handling this case. The subject of the FIR is complaint about forgery, cheating, and outrage of modesty by one Mr. Rupesh Paul, the producer and director of Kama Sutra 3D. I hereby complain against one Mr. Rupesh Paul, aged about 42 years, who has cheated me and induced me to sign a film contract by making a false document, which was supposedly a film contract. But after having shot the film, he has refused to pay me my balance remuneration of rupees 7 lakhs only, which is due as per my film contract. The set producer, Mr. Paul, had approached me in October 2012 upon knowing that I had created History in India in July 2012 by having become the first Indian to have shot for a world-famous magazine, the covers of which have been graced by Hollywood superstars such as Marilyn Monroe, Madonna, Sharon Stone, etc., etc. Mr. Paul had executed a film acting agreement dated 27-10-2012 with me for the shooting of the film titled Kama Sutra 3D with the condition that he would pay me rupees 25 lakhs only and in lieu I would work for him in the capacity of a solo female lead and make available dates for shooting between 2012-2012 to 31-3-2013. And later on, if needed for dubbing in April 2013, a copy of the said film acting agreement dated 27-10-2012 is annexed hereto and marked as Annexure A. I had shot for the film believing that I were the solo female lead in the film as per my contract and therefore compromised the total remuneration consideration in the said film contract as per clause number 2.6.4 where it clearly mentioned that I would be the solo female lead of the film and also agreed to shoot as per clause 4.6 which says the actor consents the producer to shoot her naked body in connection with the portrayal of the actor's role in the film on condition that no close-up shot of her genitals would be shot and or used in the performance. Mr. Paul then requested me to again enter into an agreement for further dates and I agreed and accordingly he executed another film acting agreement extension dated 6-4-2030 by virtue of which he sought shooting dates for the same film between 1-6-2013 to 31-7-2013, a maximum of 10 days in June 2000. 2013 and a maximum of 15 days in July 2013 and further for dubbing from 15th August 2013 to 31st August 2013 a maximum of 15 days. A copy of the set film acting agreement extension dated 6-4-2013 is annexed hereto and marked as annexure B. I had given Mr. Paul the dates required and acted as per his requirement for the film as per the aforementioned contract, details of which I can give at the time of the recording of my statement. During the shooting of the film, Mr. Paul had expressed his desire of wanting to have sex with me and when I said to him that it was impossible as I was not at all interested in him sexually, he threatened to forfeit my balance remuneration and to replace me in the film and to use my nude film footage as a blue oblique porn film in global commercial porn market where according to him there is a huge demand for such film footage oblique moving visuals with Indian faces. Mr. Rupesh Paul had threatened to teach me a lesson and to replace me with another girl who would not refuse to sleep with him. Mr. Paul also threatened to sell and peddle my nude film footage in the international porn markets, particularly in the Gulf and European countries. Besides the USA, which as per the contract of the film has been shot strictly for the feature film titled Kama Sutra 3D and not meant for any other purpose. The said Mr. Rupesh Paul has also sent vulgar and obscene emails abusing me and assassinating my character to various media persons whose names I can furnish at the time of recording of my statement. The said emails can be traced from Mr. Paul's email ID. I now request you to kindly appoint a competent officer who would record my detailed statement in respect of the facts above and initiate further necessary action in accordance with law by registering my first information report under the relevant provisions of the Indian Penal Code. Thanking you, Ms. Sherlyn Chopra.